the oldest president in office in the United States, Joe Biden, needs young voters to win again. Will his age be a factor? Alberto Rodriguez, 24, has grandparents that are under Joe Biden's age. Nevertheless, he is more concerned with the 80-year-old president's achievements than with his age. Biden's support among young voters is attributed to the fact that people as young as me, we're all focusing on our day-to-day -day lives, and he has done things to help us through that, said Rodriguez, a cook at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Rodriguez explicitly cited rising government spending on infrastructure and other social programs, as well as federal COVID-19 assistance payments. His kind of voters made up a significant portion of Biden's successful 2020 coalition, which also includes significant numbers of women, college graduates, urban and suburban voters, and black Americans. In hotly contested areas like Nevada, where even slight decreases might have a significant impact on Biden's re-election campaign, maintaining their support will be essential. His 2024 campaign plans to emphasize messages that could especially resonate with young people in the coming weeks as the anniversary of the sweeping Inflation Reduction Act approaches in mid-August. That legislation includes provisions that the White House will embrace to argue that Biden has done more than any other president to combat climate change. Such efforts, however, could collide with Biden's personal reality, like when he recalled that, while attending a St. Patrick's Day parade at age 14, he appeared in a photo with President Harry S. Truman. Next slide. File, President Joe Biden poses for a photo with the Students Demand Action Group after speaking at the National Safer Communities Summit at the University of Hartford in West Hartford, Connecticut, June 16, 2023. The oldest president in American history, Joe Biden would be 86 by the end of his second term, should he win one. He'll nonetheless need young voters to back him next year as solidly as those under 30 did in 2020, when they supported Biden over his predecessor, Donald Trump, by a 61% to 36% margin, according to AP VoteCast. AP Photo slash Susan Walsh, File Photo, Associated Press slash Susan Walsh. Purely by accident, I assume it was an accident. The photographer from the newspaper got a picture of me making eye contact with Harry Truman, Biden said to Chuckles last week at the Truman Civil Rights Symposium in Washington. In 2020, 61% of voters under age 30, and 55% of those between 30 and 44, supported Biden, according to AP VoteCast, a nationwide survey of the electorate. It's an age group with which Republicans hope to make inroads. Former President Donald Trump, who is the early frontrunner in the GOP presidential primary and is only three and a half years younger than Biden, said Friday, We are hitting the young person's market like nobody's ever seen before. Kevin Munoz, a spokesman for Biden's campaign, referred to Trump's Make America Great Again movement in arguing that young people are acutely impacted by the issues front and center in this election, driven by the extreme MAGA agenda. He said that included an action on climate change, gun violence and student debt. We will meet younger Americans where they are and turn their energy into action, Munoz said in a statement. That might not diffuse questions about age, though, when it comes to Biden or Trump. There's a frustration and exhaustion that they feel with the rematch, Terrence Woodbury, co-founder and CEO of the Democratic polling firm Hit Strategies, said of young voters. That's more of a problem than either of those two candidates individually, is that a system can just keep reproducing," Woodbury added. And I think a lot of people just find that untenable. An April poll from the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research found that just 25 percent of Democrats under 45 said they would definitely support Biden in a general election, compared with 56 percent of older Democrats. A majority of Democrats across age groups said they would probably support him as the party's nominee, however. Biden's campaign is relying heavily on the Democratic National Committee, which during last year's midterms, hired campus organizers in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona and other battleground states and offered weekly youth coordinating meetings to encourage in-class contacts and dormstorms.
The DNC sees young people as some of the most critical voters it will need to reach in 2024 and promises significant investments to mobilize them. Plans are underway to expand on its work last cycle, including trainings it held on how best to turn out voters. The Republican National Committee is trying to use Biden's age against him, posting online videos of Biden seeming frail or making verbal gaffes, such as when he declared in June God save the Queen, nearly nine months after the death of England's Queen Elizabeth II. Rodriguez shrugged off online attacks, people can make all the hit pieces and memes and TikToks all they want. A starker contrast might be between the president and rising Democrats such as 46-year-old California Rep. Ro Khanna and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, 41, one of Biden's primary rivals in 2020. Neither seriously entertained running for the White House in 2024 and have backed Biden's re-election. The only thing that really matters is your ability to do the job, Buttigieg who was 37 when he launched his 2020 presidential bid, said recently on CNN. Support for the president's alternative plan. Support for the president's alternative plan.